Hey everyone, this is me, you, and welcome to another Fun Friday video. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. So today, I'm going to be doing another 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 seconds challenge. Uh, so basically, I'm going to draw an original character in 10 minutes, and then I'm going to redraw it in 1 minute, and then again in 10 seconds. So I think it's going to be quite intense. <laughs> Uh, in case you haven't seen my first video, you can watch that here on my Mayu channel. But today I'm going to be adding color to my drawings. I don't know how fast I can uh, do this. And um, I am kind of nervous. So, but I think it's going to be really interesting and fun. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do the 10 minute drawing first. I'm going to start my timer now. So I'm going to be sketching out my character. And then after, I will ink and hopefully color her all nicely in before 10 minutes is up. And by the way, thank you for all your likes, comments, and your really creative name ideas in my previous video. I really appreciate them. If you want, you can also follow along with me on this challenge. Try drawing something in 10 minutes, 1 minute, and 10 seconds, and let me know in the comments how you did. I've been getting comments from parents who uh, told me that they love watching my videos with their kids or younger family members. And in case you're one of them, uh, I just want to thank you very much for supporting your children in their art skills and creative development. Like when you're watching my videos with them or you know, you're getting uh, how to draw books or art supplies for them, you're encouraging them to keep going in their own art journeys and to keep thinking creatively. And I think that's a really like uh, like a really wonderful and encouraging thing for young people to have. I feel a parent support is like it's so important because you know like trying to do art can be frustrating and challenging uh, especially if you don't have access to an art teacher. I remember when I was young and I was trying to do art by myself, I was trying to practice by myself, I had a lot of challenging like times uh, but my parents were always there for me they supported me they got me sketchbooks and markers coloring books and drawing books and you know that really made me feel that I could actually do this um, you know I could keep going and now after years of practice I'm now able to share my art with many people all over the world so I think that early support really makes a big impact I'd like to give a big shout out to all the parents who support their children's art dreams. And in case you're an inspiring artist, no matter your age or your level of art experience, uh, in case you're going through some challenging times, I just want you to know that it will get better. Just keep practicing, keep believing in art, and do the things that you love to do. Have joy in art. Okay, so I am done drawing and now I need to ink her and then color her. I've been getting some comments and suggestions from viewers who wanted me to do uh, paperback versions of my how to draw ebooks because they preferred having physical books to learn how to draw from me. So thank you for suggesting everyone. I've released four new paperback versions of some of my previous ebooks and they are Draw One Hand in 20 Poses, the Female Edition, and the Male Edition. Also, you can get How to Draw Famous Characters as Humans and How to Draw Famous Characters as Mermaids, now in paperback form. They have everything the ebooks have, including the easy color-coded steps and useful instructions so you know what to draw, when to draw, and how to draw it, and you just start with simple shapes. Learn skills and ideas to create your own. Especially if you're learning at home, these can help you improve your art with practice. Just look for the full color paperback label on the covers. You can also see if an ebook has a paperback version by looking on the Amazon page, and you can go from the ebook to the paperback version by clicking these buttons. 
These paperback books are now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. They ship to over 100 countries. The link is below. I hope they help you with your own designs. Keep up the good work, everyone. Okay, so I have a little bit less than five minutes to color her now. I'm getting a little bit more nervous. I hope I can color her nicely in the time remaining. It's just like a few more minutes left, but I do want to get in some layers and blending if I can. I want this mermaid to look pretty and, you know, like, uh, more dimensional so I hope I will be able to have some time and also I think I might add some little special effects near the end if I have some time left I was thinking about the color balance for my uh, mermaid character and since she has this really nice bright hot pink uh, for her hair I was thinking I, I'd like to do something a little bit different for her body like the like the uh, tail for example so I was thinking you know something that looks nice with hot pink but also has like a really large contrast so then I started with the blue like the dark um, like a uh, turquoise i really like this color and i think like the just the contrast between the blue and the pink really stands out for me so i like that for this character and i hope i can get some of the blues to make the uh like the tail look shimmery and shiny because i don't want to have the entire thing just colored in solid i think that may make my character look a bit too flat so i want to have some like interesting effects in the tail Okay, I need to add some more colors. <laughs> so at this point, I was kind of um, getting a little bit more nervous. I only had like a couple minutes left and I felt, you know, like this is the first time I was drawing and coloring under a time challenge. I just wanted to leave myself some more room in the end for some interesting details and effects that I had in my mind. I really wanted to get those in and I felt, you know, I should speed up a little bit here just so I can, um, like, create the piece to the level that I had in my mind. In case you missed my previous video, I'm really happy to announce the release of my fourth coloring book called Curvy Beauties, a coloring celebration of plus-sized women. Glad some of you got it already from Amazon. Get yours from the link below if you haven't already, and I hope you can relax and jump into a world of stress-relieving coloring with my original, never-before-seen line art of beautiful curvy ladies in a variety of themes, backgrounds, and outfits. Share your coloring masterpieces in your Amazon reviews and on social media with the hashtag MayYouArt. I love to see your colorful creations. Good, I'm happy I still have some time to add some special effects that I wanted for my character. Okay, some finishing touches. So right now I'm using my white Sharpie to add these little white sparkle-like effects on her. <music> so 
So to give you some perspective of the time involved in my usual character drawings, um, like for example in my character reimaginings, it could take up to several hours to come up with the concept and the like the concept sketch and the idea. If my sketching is all finalized, it usually takes me about a couple hours or sometimes more to do a character drawing from start to finish. So doing a, you know, like a character design like this in 10 minutes is quite a challenge. But I like how she turned out. I think she looks really beautiful and I love the sparkles. I think she looks magical. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so that was 10 minutes. Whew, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think she looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to um, capture this character in one minute. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, here goes. Okay, ready? Okay, wait, hang on. Just, I mean, I need to collect my thoughts. Okay, ready? And... Okay. Go! Oh, my hand was shaking so hard. I was trying really hard not to shake my pen too much and trying to keep my lines like straight and nice looking, but it was really hard. For the one minute drawing because I had to really prioritize uh, the major parts of the design. I knew I didn't have enough time to go over the entire drawing with my uh, brush pen so I decided to change into my uh, color pens uh, just to try to get as much of the character and the design in the time as possible. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that was one minute. Whew. All right. I think it's not too bad I got um, at least her major features in there. And then now let's go on to the 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be doing um, this character. I'm going to try to capture the general feel of her in 10 seconds. Now I am super duper nervous. <laughs> in case you're following me at home uh, and you're trying the 10 second version of your drawing, let me know in the comments how you did. I would love to hear. Okay. 10 seconds. Ah. Alright. Ready? One, two, three, go! Ah! Ah! Oh, jeez! <laughs> so intense! Okay, so... <laughs> there we go! <laughs> I got her general shape, which I'm really happy, but 10 seconds is like nothing. Whew. Okay, well, let me know what you think of this art challenge. I am trying to calm down right now. <laughs> if you want to see more challenges like this, smash the like button and subscribe in case you haven't already so you won't miss my future videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting Fun Friday video planned. Till next time.